Stage one pressing for flight. T-minus 15 seconds, stand by for terminal count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Vehicle switching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Today's mission, we are on our way to delivering Sat 5A to a geostationary transfer orbit. Watching the nine Merlin engines of the Falcon 9 first stage. Falcon 9 is super Capable of putting out over 1.7 million pounds of thrust. About five seconds ago, we transitioned uh, to the supersonic regime. Coming up in about a second, we're going to hit Vehicle Max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure. We actually just passed through Max Q. That's one of the highest stress states on the vehicle. Propulsion avionics continues to look nominal. Back engine shell has begun. You heard the call out. The Merlin vacuum engine of our second stage has begun chilling in. Same process as the first stage, where we start to flow that liquid oxygen through that second stage engine. This first stage burn will last for about another 30 Recovery seconds. Has AOS. About 10 seconds, we'll have main engine cutoff. All nine Merlin engines at that first stage will shut down. About three seconds after that, we will see stage separation, where the first and second stages will be separated by four pneumatic actuators, and then we will have the ignition of our second stage engine. Let's watch. We have go. Stage separation confirmed. And we have a good ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine for our second stage. You can see the exhaust plumes uh, coming from the forward view of our first stage on the left screen camera. Uh, our grid fins have also deployed, as you can see there. We use those grid fins to guide ourselves back through Earth's atmosphere to our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. In about 15 seconds, we'll have separation of the fairing from our second stage. That's a view inside the fairing. Korea Sat 5A on the right side. Back and we have separation of the fairing. It's a good separation. Second stage is following a normal trajectory. And we have a call out that second stage is following a nominal trajectory right now. Everything looking good. Meanwhile, first stage is continuing to guide itself down. We're coming up on entry burn at about the six minutes and 23 seconds for the entry burn. Now, in addition to using those grid fins for guiding ourselves back to the ship, we do have uh, cold nitrogen thrusters. Uh, that's those white puffs of smoke you see coming on the screen uh, on the first stage image. Uh, we also use that to help uh, orient the stage back to the drone ship.
Our second stage burn is going to last to about T plus 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Then that second stage engine will shut down. We'll be coasting for about 20 minutes. Uh, and then we will have our second burn to put KoreaSat 5A into the final geostationary transfer orbit. Entry burn coming up in about a minute for the stage one. Uh, it passed through its apogee of about 110 kilometers. So now we are accelerating back to Earth. We use that entry burn to negate a lot of the, the vertical velocity that the rocket has built up uh, and help slow down the, the entry speeds. I'll see a more gentler touchdown. Entry burn will be about a 20 second entry burn. Uh, we're using a combination of one and three engines, depending on different timing and sequences of this burn. Today, there is only two burns since we are landing on the drone ship. We're not going back to uh, Cape Canaveral. So we just have the entry burn followed by the landing burn at about eight minutes and six seconds. Drone ship AOS. Stage one, AFTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn has started. Confirmation of entry burn start, 20 second burn. Stage two continues to follow a normal trajectory. Stage one entry burn is shut down. And we have shut down of the entry burn. We'll have our landing burn in just about a minute of stage one. Single engine landing burn. Now we may lose signal as you saw there briefly the stage one. Uh, we are getting the feed from a saddle in the drone ship uh, with that tropical storm moving uh, through the area. There were some choppier seas, which makes our satellite link a little bit uh, more challenging, but we will provide you guys updates as we have them. Meanwhile, you're looking at a live view of stage, stage one two. is transonic. Um, the call out for stage one passing through transonic regime just came. Trajectory continues to look good for this second burn, or first burn of the second stage, which will have cut off at about 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Stage 1 landing burn has started. The landing burn for stage 1 has begun. A 30 second landing burn. It's a live view from, of course, I still love you, our drone ship out in the Atlantic Ocean. And we have Zico. We do have confirmation while we're waiting for uh, an image from the drone ship that we did have our second stage engine cut off. But if you've tuned in to pass and webcasts, uh, you've noticed that we have uh, lost feeds uh, in the pass of our stage one. Right now, we don't exactly know the state of stage one. Uh, but as of this moment, uh, it does look good like we are in a good parking orbit for stage two. This is recovery. Stage one has landed. Recovery operators moving to second. And we have confirmation from recovery operators that stage one has landed. Stage one has landed. We don't have any images and footage to share with you. Oh, there's an image right now. A little toasty, but his stage one is uh, certainly still intact on the drone ship. Our second stage is in a good parking orbit right now. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is leave you this animation of stage two. Uh, so that way uh, you can keep tracking its progress. At about T plus 26 minutes, we'll be back to cover 
uh, the second burn of our second stage to put it into a geostationary transfer orbit. So we'll be pausing right now, and we'll see you back here at T plus 26 minutes. T, T plus 26 minutes and 15 seconds into today's mission. If you're just joining us, we had a successful uh, first burn. Uh, we have a live view of our first stage there on our drone ship. Uh, you saw it a little bit toasty earlier with some fires. Those fires are out. Our team is taking control of it. First stage is looking good right on point in the center of, of course, I still love you in the mid-Atlantic Ocean. Uh, if you look back at our primary mission today, second stage is coming up on its next burn. That will start in about 10 seconds. That's a live view from the aft end looking at our Merlin vacuum engine uh, of the second stage. We're right now sitting in a good low Earth parking orbit. Uh, in about two seconds, you'll see ignition, and there it is. Ignition of our Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, this will be about a one minute burn. Uh, that burn will take us into uh, a higher apogee. This is what it's basically doing, it's raising the apogee of second stage, uh, getting ready to deploy KoreaSat 5A into that geostationary uh, transfer orbit. Uh, this burn, like I said, uh, so far looks good. Um, we will be executing this burn for about 30 more seconds. And then after the burn finishes, uh, we will be coasting for about another eight minutes, and then we'll have payload deployment. Right now from that animation, it's hard to tell, but we're off the western coast uh, of Africa. Engine looks good, throttling down, and we have shutdown. And that looks like we are in a good geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, we have payload deployment coming up at about 35 minutes and 30 seconds in today's mission. Uh, so we're actually going to pause again, leave you with another animation of where our Stage 2 and KoreaSat 5A are positioned over Earth. Uh, we'll be back about T plus good orbit, 35 minutes. Four. Our GNC callout just confirmed that we are in a good orbit insertion for the payload. So we'll be back at T plus 35 minutes with payload deployment. T plus 35 minutes into today's mission. Uh, you're looking at an animation of... And with that, we had, had a successful landing of our first stage, albeit a little toasty, but it's certainly intact and uh, ready for another flight on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We also had a successful deployment of KoreaSat 5A to a geostationary transfer orbit. So with that, we're going to conclude our webcast. We would like to thank our customer, KTSAT, for today's mission. We'd like to thank the United States Air Force uh, for supporting today's mission from the Cape Canaveral Air Force range. Uh, as well as the FAA for their support. And most importantly, we'd like to thank you, uh, the viewer, for tuning in for today's mission. Please uh, keep apprised of updates on our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have uh, a few more missions coming up this year. And if you'd like to come up here and join the team that makes all this happen, check out spacex.com careers. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.